in 2020, a very, very different different year. Um, what things about your leadership enabled you to sort of get the school through that, uh, well, through the, the COVID experience? Uh, like I really believe relationships were at the key and that as leaders we were really relying on certainly what we did at the time and, and kept doing as the year went, went on. But we, you know, you kind of really learn about how much you rely on relationships and connectedness. Mm -hmm. um, I think parents learn a lot about their children and an appreciation of educators. Um, and I think we realised as teachers that we, we need, need the students as much as they need us. So it just, you know, while we made it all happen, it just didn't feel, you know, quite right without them and things like that. So uh, I think also just how key it is for a school to function with all stakeholders. And when you take a group out of the mix, such as parents, that it can really impact the community more than you realise. Mm. Um, just their physical daily presence, like being taken away. So you really were relying on the trust mm. that was already established. Yeah. Mm. Um, was there any particular strategy that you had in place that sort of, you know, uh, I know this will work or not work? I, I like the idea, you know, it's, it is a trusting issue. Uh, and how yeah, you, yeah. How so did you build that trust? I think, look, our digital communication platforms already having those established allowed us to transition really seamlessly uh, to continue doing both the home learning and the parent education. Uh, we made some fun videos, which was, mm. you know, fun to try and touch base. And we did what lots of other schools did, uh, regular parent phone calls. And also uh, one of the things that definitely would keep doing, um, we realized that you don't always have to be face to face to do the communication or the parent education. Mm. So we looked at doing some short, sharp, engaging, informative, videos and certainly can still continue that in place of the parent meeting because we can get more hits to parents than relying on the maybe seven people that will come to a 7.30 meeting at school. So, Did you find the staff were looking to you for guidance? More? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a really interesting dynamic as well. So I think that when, when things are going well, you, as a leader, you try to be very, you like do lots of consultation, get lots of teacher voice and staff voice um, around making decisions. But when things are uncertain, um, people really look to you for just making the decision and directing them with confidence and in a calm manner about what's going to happen and how it's going to look like. <laughs> did, did you find any challenges to that during the year? I was like my poker face. <laughs> yeah. And I think the support, you know, that idea of every, everyone's a leader, like it really did take every single person, um, every single staff member from the office and our teacher's aides, all our ancillary staff to, to step up and work together and support each other, um, you know, to make all the things that happen during that time. Okay. That's, one of, that's one of the very strong recurring themes. I think everybody's made that comment, which is which we know, but it's hard to implement sometimes. But so now looking back, you now a quarter of the way through um, 2021, um, what did you learn about leading? You know, sort of personally, if you can reflect on it in a very short time. Yeah, <laughs> look, I think you always need to be ready for the unexpected mm. and know that whatever comes our way. You know, whatever comes my way, I will be able to, you know, meet it head on with, with confidence and establish clarity for all of the people that need me to be that person for them. Uh, with the support of my leadership team but, mm -hmm. and, and my teachers, but also the system, the system support. And it's funny how there's some things that are really good uh, that you think, I love being at school every day. I love not having to go to all of these system meetings and all of these external demands that take me away from the actual school site. And that was great at first. But then afterwards, I also realised that I missed that professional collegial network that we get from the system leaders and, and seeing, you know, our fellow principals a couple of times a term. And I realised that I need all of those people, my leadership team being at school and my colleagues as well to you know, to flourish and continue to be directed in my work because it can be isolating <laughs> in, in this position as well. 
Well, again, that's another thing, this idea of courage and being confident with the case, not being stupid, but, you know, because you've got the resources there, uh, I think it's a, a great reflection on leading. Well, look, thanks very much for that. Uh, really enjoyed the, the, the chat.